It's December 15th, and here's the news that made the cut for the Daily Glitch. Developer CD Projekt Red teased a second playable character for their highly anticipated Witcher sequel, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, in a trailer earlier this month, but have now decided to announce it officially. The studio confirmed today that players will be able to play as Ciri, an elven sword fighter and prominent Witcher series character, during special sections of the game's plot to give another perspective on the story. The latest trailer, Pseudo announcing the character, briefly shows off some of Ciri's more magic-driven abilities and swordsmanship, and CD Projekt has confirmed that the Witcher S will be used as a supportive narrative tool. Be on the lookout for more Witcher 3 news news as we approach its May 2015 release. PC Dark Souls players are finally free from the lifeless shackles that was Games for Windows Live. The service, which shut down back in July, was blocking players' abilities to transfer their saves and achievements from the Games for Windows Live version to the Steam platform. Bandai Namco released instructions today detailing the transfer process and announced that on February 16th, a Steam version will replace the Games for Windows Live version on all marketplaces. Capcom has announced that two Devil May Cry titles are getting remastered for a current-gen release this coming year. DMC Definitive Edition will include DMC and all downloadable content running at 60 frames per second 1080p and includes new game modes, achievements, costumes, and leaderboards. Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition was also announced, but with very few details. The DMC Definitive Edition is set to release on the Xbox One and PS4 on March 17th. Finally, a bit of financial news. A recent study by Push Square announced that subscribers to PlayStation Plus could have saved upwards of $1,300 in 2014 by taking advantage of all the free games offered with a subscription across PlayStation 3, 4, and Vita. Considering the $50 subscription and the number of titles released each month, it's pretty plain to see the savings in a pure dollar sense. Of course, players would have to be active across all three platforms to maximize their savings, and if you stop paying for the service, you lose access to the games. That's it for today. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always, you can follow us on Twitter at GlitchFeed and check out the weekly GlitchFeed podcast on iTunes.